do you know how many do you know how much of tax payers money was lost in bihar just to say because of one incident because of the corruption of few civil servants and politicians in bihar india lost 1700 crores of tax payers money all of that money in just 3 seconds how can anyone ever forget the aguwani sultan ganj bridge in bihar but of course we will forget as soon as the next viral instagram reel hits our phone the cm of bihar nitish kumar has asked for an investigation in the bridge collapse and we all know how ridiculous some of these investigations are this bridge collapse was not just for the first time it happened for the second time after the first collapse in april 2022 iit rurki said on the matter that the bridge should have been taken down should be taken down this bridge has design flaws not just that even substandard material is used to construct that bridge but still that did not happen lives lost tax payers money lost why because some civil servants thought it is civil to loot and plunder when nordic countries ask for taxes they do provide quality services in return good schools good hospitals good roads electricity clean air to breathe but here in india when we pay taxes what do we get in return false promises of us becoming superpower been hearing that for ever since i was 5 years old then a digvijay singh son the former chief minister of madhya pradesh son went for his masters in new york city columbia university the current chief minister son shivraj singh chauhan went to university of pennsylvania jyoti rajit sindhya son went to yale sindhya himself went to harvard and stanford why did they, did they not study in let's say gwalior or bhopal or indore because they know that they cannot trust their own country for their kids education why because they have ruined it along with civil servants who send their kids to study in australia and america how many civil servants kids study in government schools even getting operated in government hospitals in india is a hassle just go and stand outside of aims metro station in delhi we'll see the line of people waiting for their turn of course all these kids of these politicians they will all come back join indian politics because to build your own life from scratch is very difficult job in consulting private equity Dif- difficult to thrive if not talented but not in indian politics you and i will pay salaries for their kids not just that we will also pay for their pension tax free pension we will also pay for the medical expenses at housing we will also fund their education the kids education to universities abroad but we will not ask them a single question why because we are still stuck with a medieval mindset in a modern democracy still fighting over caste religion and we love being apolitical because politics is a dirty word for us perhaps we deserve to be ruled by those who cannot provide us with security of life liberty property or even jobs half of the country is dancing on instagram selling pohas preparing for upsc because there are no good quality jobs left phd graduates applying for group c group d positions in the government and many of us want to join the ias exactly for these reasons because getting into the ias ips is perhaps the best way to secure your own life your own liberty your own property even your own jobs in modern day india I really hope some of you change this and give your heart out when you are in the services. And I really hope that some of you do real work, not just waste waste the state's resources on making YouTube videos or how your bungalow looks or how your car looks or how you crack UPSC. It is okay that you have cracked UPSC, but what contribution have you made after that? Making Instagram reels is not a contribution. So to circle back to the non-cooperation movement. Gandhi's letter went unnoticed. The movement was launched formally on 1st August 1920. It was launched after the expiry of the notice that Gandhi ji had given 
to the viceroy in his letter. Lokmanya Tilak passed away in the early hours of August 1st, 1920. 